here are my picks for seven awesome field watches under $400. Now let's start with the most obvious choice, Hamilton Khaki Field Watch. If you were to ask 10 watch collectors what would be their suggestion for an affordable field watch, nine out of 10 will probably recommend this watch. And there's a good reason for it because these watches are so well made. I reviewed one a couple of years ago and really am impressed with it. For the longest time, I thought I would add a manual wind to my collection. By the way, the manual wind watches are cheaper than the automatic ones. The nice thing about these Hamilton watches, you do get a choice between the manual wind and the automatic. Also, you get a choice between different dial colors, whether you want date or no date, as well as different strap options and even case finishes. Just within the Hamilton khaki family, there are probably seven or eight different choices for field watches. They come from Swatch Group, they're all Swiss made, all powered by ETA movements, just solid, reliable timepieces. Another great thing about these Hamilton watches is the fact that they've been on the market for a very long time, so you can always get a deal on them. It doesn't have to be Black Friday, it doesn't have to be Cyber Monday or whatever, you can just go on websites like Ashford, like Joma Shop, by the way, this video is not sponsored, even Amazon, and you can pick them up for pretty much 50% off of original MSRP. Never pay retail for these watches. That's the advantage of going with something like Hamilton, the deals and the savings that you get for such a reliable watch. Now, let's say you're kind of tired of Hamilton. You want to go with something a little bit more unique. Well, here's my next suggestion. Boulder venture titanium field watch again this is a watch that i reviewed a few years ago and once again i was quite impressed with it now what i really like about this watch is you guessed it the titanium case it makes the watch super comfortable on the wrist whether you wear it on something like a canvas strap or a nato strap these watches feel light like feather on the wrist and that's exactly what you want from a field watch. You want a watch that's not gonna get in the way, a watch that's not gonna get caught on your sleeves, uh, just reliable, solid watch, easy to read, great loom, and great light case. The watches are also pretty durable. They do have sapphire crystals and pretty attractive design. I like that the crown is hidden out of the way at the four o'clock position. A really solid choice and Boulder, as a micro brand, always delivers good quality. They have pretty good track record, especially for this model. The only negative that I see for this watch is the fact that it's powered by the Seiko NH35 automatic movement, which is a great solid movement, but at $400, maybe you're expecting something a little bit higher end. Speaking of Seiko, here's my next suggestion, Seiko SNK803. Now, this is a watch that not only have I reviewed in the past, I actually have one in my collection. It's one of the best watches you can get under $150. And once again, these watches do always go on sale. The case size is your classic field watch, 38 millimeters. It's super thin. I think it's around 11 millimeters thick and you still get the automatic movement. It's not a hand wound movement in this thin case. Although it's one of the older Seiko movements, which doesn't have hacking and doesn't have hand winding. So you do have to wear the watch in order for the movement and the spring to charge up. However, on the positive side, it is super affordable and it looks and wears great. I love wearing my watch on the supplied two piece canvas strap. However, you can also wear it on the NATO strap or even on something like a nylon strap all strap options are super comfortable and the watch overall is super comfortable. I wear mine when I go skiing, when I go snowboarding or when I have to wear a lot of gear like when you go hiking and exploring. Uh, you might have gloves, you might have thick jacket sleeves and you don't want the watch to get in the way. This Seiko is designed not to get in the way and under $150 it's one of the best value for money watches on the market. Now let's say you want the Seiko, but you want something with a bit of a better movement, maybe something in a slightly larger case. Well, I have another Seiko suggestion for you. This one is called Seiko 5 Reference SRP G31. It's sort of from this lineup of 5KX watches, one of the newer releases from Seiko. It still has the Harley crystal 
just like the SNK803. However, this one is powered by the 4R36 automatic movement, which means that it's hackable and hand windable, and overall it's just a better, more modern movement. And this watch is cheaper than the Boulder, and it has pretty much the same movement. Now, advantage of this movement actually, that it also has a day-date complication. Some people will like that. Some people prefer a cleaner look to their field watch. They don't want a date or a day complications on the dial. They just want a plain field watch dial. I actually don't mind a day-date complication. And I think with this overall design, it kind of works really well. The case size is also your standard field watch case size, although a little bit larger than the SNK, this one is 39 and a half as opposed to 38 like on the SNK. Overall, a solid, reliable choice, and you can score them for around 300 bucks or lower. Great deal. Now let's say 300 bucks is a little bit too much for you, even 100 bucks is a little bit too much for you to pay for the Seiko. Well, I have another suggestion, Timex Expedition. Now these ones are quartz watches, but you have so many different choices in terms of different case sizes, different case shapes, different dial styles, as well as colors. There really are a lot, a lot of choices. You can go between something like $30 and $120, depending on which style appeals to you, depending on the dial and other factors. For around 30 to 50 bucks, you can't go wrong with a Timex. It's a classic watch, it's reliable, it will get the job done. The next suggestion is Bulova Military Hack Field Automatic Watch. Now, I didn't really know about the existence of this watch until I started doing a little bit more research for this video, and really, this watch looks really cool. I think it's the perfect alternative to that Hamilton. Bulova is another well-established brand with a lot of heritage, a lot of actually military heritage, so you still have that history behind the brand, but it is a little bit cheaper than Hamilton and sort of a cool alternative. Uh, every watchmaker, every watch collector knows about Hamilton, but not everyone really knows about this cool Bulova field watch. In my opinion, it looks really good. It comes on this leather NATO strap, and overall, the styling is very attractive. It will wear really well on the wrist because it does have that conservative 38 millimeter typical field watch style. Now, just like Timex, it does have a bit of a limited water resistance, only 30 meters. So do keep that in mind with this watch. If you're planning to do some tougher activities with it, probably Hamilton or other watches on the list are the better choice. If, however, you're not really planning to get the watch wet too often, 30 meters, should be enough and overall you can't go wrong with this watch i like the styling of the watch i like that domed mineral crystal yes it's a mineral crystal it's not sapphire i also like the cream color to the dial as well as these cathedral style hands kind of a cool mashup but it somehow all works with this design and here is my last suggestion and probably the watch that i would personally buy if you were to tell me hey oleg here is 400 dollars go ahead and buy yourself a field watch. Glycine Combat Vintage Field Watch. Now you can find these watches all over the internet, on Ashford, on Joma Shop, even on Amazon. They run around $300 and for this price you get a lot of value. First of all, you do get a Swiss made watch and what a handsome watch it is. I particularly like this green dial with the green NATO strap. I think that just looks so, so good. It does have an automatic Swiss made movement, 50 meters water resistance, but at this price point, I am willing to overlook that because it also comes with the sapphire crystal. Now, one thing to keep in mind with this watch specifically, it is a bit larger, is the largest watch on the list. It's 43 millimeters in diameter. So that's quite a bit larger than everything else. However, the watch is still very flat under 11 millimeters thickness, so it shouldn't get in your way. If you have a bit of a larger wrist, probably medium to large size wrist, this size should fit just fine. As far as other negatives go, I don't really like the date window on the dial. I think it kind of throws the symmetry off, but other than that, it's a fantastic choice. It looks kick ass and it will be a tough field watch for years to come. And that's it, that's the video. Those were my seven picks for awesome field watches under $400. What did I miss? Leave your comments in a comment section below. Let me know what choices you agree with, what choices you disagree with. 
I always enjoy reading your comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time.